So I guess there's a few, like there's, there's different species. Like, of course, each, each region has its own species. And even one species that will grow in one region, it might be the same species that grows in another region, but it probably has slightly different, might look a little bit different even. And it, ha it might have slightly different like variations, uh, of course, in terms of also how you, when you prepare that medicine or pick that plant for, for consuming um, uh, and where it comes from. Because, you know, if you, for example, you might have a dandelion that grows in Central Park that's been sprayed with Roundup, mm, or, you have, might, yes. or you might have a, or you might have a dandelion that grows in the mountains of upstate New York, um, that's away from a trail that's pretty isolated, that has a healthy water source and and healthy soil, um, you know. So I, I guess there's a lot of you know I'm still like there's there's a lot of issues you know in terms of like you know different for example like grow, picking plants that grow next to the roadside or. There's things that can bioaccumulate toxins. There's like there's a whole study of like how plants and, and animals and mushrooms and, and minerals, how they uptake toxins from the environment. So you have to be like aware of that, right? Like even in an mm -hmm. isolated popular isolated area, you could still have issues with like air pollution that's been coming over the, the continent um, and depositing in the air and that, and that organism is up reuptaking that into its tissue and so you eating that. But then again, what are the what are the options? You're gonna eat something from a greenhouse that's gonna be, um, like the water quality isn't ideal anyway. So it's like okay, so let's talk about really things that matter. Um, and then we could also talk about detoxification, um, as a whole other thing. But I guess back to your question about certain plants. I guess dandelion's great. Stinging nettle, it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm just thinking back home right now. What are the plants? Um, I I don't know right now. Those are two plants that come to mind: stinging nettle and okay. dandelion. Okay, and that I haven't heard of the the other one, the sting the, stinging, stinging nettle. Yeah, urtica. Um, the Latin is urtica dioca. Um, it grows a lot in um like human habitated places, like old old like old farmsteads at the edges of fields where there's like a lot of fertilizer, um, uh, so a lot of uh, runoff. But um, it's a it's a great plant. The plant has a lot of different properties. The roots have a lot of medicinal properties that help with hormone health. Um, the stems um, give us a lot of, they can give us fiber uh, for making clothing. Um, and then the, the leaves are very medicinal, high in iron. They're high in um, chlorophyll. They're high in, um, they're high in, in different vitamins. Um, very, they call it, it's very nu like a nutritive plant. It's a very, it has a lot of uh, blood, right. blood purification properties. Um, and, and it's one of my favorites. So I, I like to use it as a tea and then also I can, you can cook with it uh, as well, which is really delicious. Awesome. That's beautiful. I, I, I love what you're doing. I love that you're, you're focusing on the youth um, because that just changes the whole trajectory of like future, what they're going to go to or look to as far as healing purposes. Yeah. Um, I talk about my girls and how like, the first thing, like my my young my oldest was having a, a issue last night and she said her head was hurting. She asked me, did we have some ginger and honey? She mm -hmm. wanted to make some tea. And, you know, at that age, I think I was probably would have been given um, <laughs> some Benadryl or NyQuil <laughs> or <laughs> Tylenol. You know, I was I would have yeah. been given something over the counter as opposed to me thinking like on my own. Mm -hmm. okay this is what I feel like my body needs right now because I know mm -hmm. of the healing purposes that it has mm -hmm. um it's mm -hmm. the same as a lot of individuals are coming privy to sea moss which is beautiful and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so nutrient filled yeah. and everything and I'm I'm just I, I'm loving how I see I always see the the good you know people always focus on like oh but it's this 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 and this is happening and I'm just like but yeah the conversations are being had though People are yeah. talking more about different methods of healing themselves as opposed to leaving it to big pharma. Um, yeah, this is important. This is really important. Yeah, I, I mean, my, I kind of could go in different directions with that, but I'm definitely, <laughs> uh, I'm definitely on the same page as you. I think there's, uh, not to say there's not a place for pharmaceuticals. I think there certainly is. Um, I kind of, I used to be a little bit more extreme about it, even in, antibiotic use. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you got to be careful what you're playing with. You got to know you're playing with fire. And, and certainly plants tend to be a little bit more forgiving, a little bit more um, targeted, you know, a little, honestly, a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit less of side effects that you can deal with. Um, so it's it's a little bit more friendly to deal with. Of course, you want to know if, if there are certain toxicity levels in certain plants. Yeah. Um, 
different alkaloids, different um, different compounds, and different plants that you probably want to stay away from, unless you exactly know what you're doing, or different categories of plants. Like uh, in the um, in the celery family, um, there are you know there's things that can that are food and things that can kill you, and there's like, but again, it's few and far between as compared to like what we do on a modern basis with uh, modern society, at least uh, like you just look at overdoses with um, pharmaceutical industry and how many deaths come from medical, medical, um, medical um, mismanagement uh, and, uh, and combining different drugs when you're not supposed to. And that farly it greatly outnumbers the deaths from um, uh, wild plants, for example. Yeah. No, I didn't even think on the, like you said, the toxicities that some plants that my friend, um, uh, my friend and her partner, Dylan, he has stage four, um, it's in my phone, but I'm not about to look it up, but he has a stage four cancer. And so she was um, looking up, they've been giving him soursop tea, but she was like, you know, it's, you can't give too much. And I, I didn't think of it of that behalf I'm like you know I sit and sip on the tea I sip on the tea all day but she was talking about the toxicity levels like some if you do too much of something or you use too much of it then yeah. you know it could have adverse uh results and yeah. so or effects and it's just you know the more you know the more you grow really the <laughs> more you know the more you grow <laughs> yeah I think I think herbalism is like a great way to get into um foraging honestly yeah. Um, so it just, it, it, it honestly amazes me every time I hear about different plants and, I, and they're like, honestly, I'm learning things every day, every day, you know? Yes. My friend made a, a fire cider for me before we left New York back last year, um, at the beginning of winter and she put something of everything in there. I tell you, like, I have a picture of it. So I always revert <laughs> back to it. It was like this, this, and this, yeah. and this, but it was just so many. And she's just like, yes. And that, that cider is going to strip all the nutrients from that. And the longer it's been fermented, it's going to be stronger and more potent. And it's just, I love having friends like that. Like now you're my friend, Max, so I can <laughs> contact you when I have questions. Because I'm not trying to have all this stuff in my head. And I'm just like, yeah. oh my gosh, system overload. But I love to be able to call or a reference or, or, you know, go back to someone that I know is privy in this stuff and can can guide me in the right direction because mm -hmm. it's important. So I, I love, I love that this is a passion of yours. Yeah, yeah. It's funny. I'm kind of like type A, kind of like I need things organized, you know? So I have like little folders for every like, you know, because in embryolism, there's like so many different actions or you know, a plant can give you so many different things. And it's like, it's just, it, I, like I said, it's just, it's amazing, you know? So I, anytime, anytime, Jay, every time you have any questions, if I don't know the answer, I'll, I'll direct you to someone that might. So. Oh yeah. You're definitely in the directory now, sir. Look, <laughs> you are definitely in the directory. So I appreciate that. And I definitely need to hook you and Marilyn up. Like y'all got to connect because she's in Brooklyn. So y'all have to meet each other yeah, and, sure. and have some great conversations. Cause I already know like y'all will definitely probably, just go back and forth with the knowledge that y'all have and the passion because of the passion that you have for it. So it's, it's really dope, but I love that you are bestowing all of this into our youth. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. It's like, you know, it's like you could die with all that knowledge in your head. Then what happens to it? You know? Yes. So I was yes. like, that's, that's a real responsibility. I think that um, I feel, you know, someday I would love to write a book, you know, and it's like, they say, you know, you should, you know, only, only write a book if you really, really need to, if you have to. It's like, sometimes I really, honestly, I thought that, like, I, I, I feel like our deep responsibility to sharing this stuff, so. Oh, no, I was going to say, that's, that's what they say, only do it if you need to. <laughs> no, everyone, I feel, I, because of me being a writer, I feel everyone oh, has nice. a book in them. I, I've written a book, my friend Marilyn, who I was just sharing with you, she actually is having, that's what we're going to New York for her book release. Um Really? Oh, what yeah, is the book, she what's wrote her a book, book about? It's called Vulnerable, um, Honoring Your Gut. And really? she talks about talks about the hypothalamus and all this. Like she's, I'm telling you, y'all will connect. Like she talks about okay. <laughs> the endocrine system, like yeah. everything. Like she just talked about honoring your gut and the things that you need to do to make sure that you're a balanced individual. Um, 
and it's yeah. it's really dope. But yeah, no, you have a book in you. No, it's not a an uh. If you need, to, yes, you need to. Yes, yes, like you said, you all the knowledge that you have, just your story in general. People benefit from your story, whether it's learning from you as far as the models maybe to go about, or learn from you the things not to do. And that that's that was my story. <laughs> a lot of mine was shared on the aspect of learn from me. Don't don't do what I did. <laughs> like like. <laughs> do something different because this like, yeah. it hurts <laughs> yeah sometimes I feel like you know I don't know I feel like I feel like I've taken a lot um and I feel like like I, I can respect what you're saying don't do that or I also feel like you know a burden has been laid on me and like I feel like instead of I, I feel like like God has done that for me like because you know instead of doing it to other people you know like mm-hmm. kind of you know it's it's a heavy thing but I feel like I feel gifted that I was able to help other people by by experiencing certain things, you know? Of course. That's that's what it's about. Yes. Like you mm-hmm. experience it so others don't. Like you know, um, a lot of the our elders always would share different things with us and we kind of brush it off as, oh, okay, it's just talking. But then like you go through your own things, you're just like, so and so said, don't do this. <laughs> but I just had to learn that lesson on my own. And it's like yeah. instead of you learning it that way, learn it through my 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 experiences and grow yeah. from that. Because you're still going to experience whatever it is that you're destined to experience on your journey. However, the way that you handle it, the way you maneuver through it, the way you, you know, forge through, like mm-hmm. it's all important because I we always have choices. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I don't know about you, but like, um, I feel like I have a lot to live for, you know? Um, yes. Yes. So. Oh, definitely. Well, what you're doing, I already know. Like your voice needs to be heard. Your voice needs to be magnified. Um, and a book would do that, Max. Just saying, like, I'm a big <laughs> advocate for That's people so writing a story. Like you have to, you have to. Um, That's really sweet. Yeah. Please let me know when, uh, then again, when that book, uh, maybe we can meet up. I'll bring my, uh, Maybe I'll bring my girlfriend with me and we can go together. Oh, yeah. When are you heading back to New York? I'm going to be back uh, in like on Tuesday. On t- oh, well, the book releases on Sunday. That's when the party is. But oh, no. um, <laughs> I'll be there for a couple of weeks. So let me know. Like maybe we yeah. can meet up and, you know, go into uh, Prospect Park. That's one of her favorite places. I, and I love Prospect Park. I loved it in the fall, too, because it was really pretty. The leaves changing. I love that time of year. Um, I'm not a fan of winter, but I love fall. I love because mm. of how how it looks, the aesthetics mm. of it. But um, That's nice. And um, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Um, yeah, yeah. So I guess it comes back to the children, right? It's like, okay. I mean, it comes back to us and then, you know. Yeah, the difference that we're trying to make, like what you're trying to leave, your legacy, what what it is that you're trying to leave behind. Because like we have, what are you going to do with all the information you have? Like you said, how benefiting would it be for you just to die with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know I kind of reckon with that, like being a gatekeeper, right? I I don't, like, I don't, I don't don't need to do that, you know? So, yeah. I think it's something I need to, uh, you know, you know, I'm just like meeting and just trying to, trying to know that the world is abundant. You know, everybody gets their needs met. You know, uh, in a, in a perfect world, and and um, just trying to give out, a, do things out of a place of abundance. You know. 